Hi, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. It is the 9th of May 2018. Um, just a quick one. I was just watching, catching up with YouTube videos, um, and I was watching um, Subtle Infinity uh, video. Uh, it's entitled The um, Kanye Kardashian Clan. That's the title of the video. Um, it doesn't actually mention much about Kanye West, but it, it, um, it was quite interesting. He had two clips, uh, one from Mr. T uh, from the A-Team, <laughs> uh, the actor, Mr. T, and the other one was um, Malcolm X. And it was interesting. Uh, I I've never seen Mr. T. Um, obviously, my main uh, scene with T was obviously the A-Team as I said and obviously Rocky as well um, but when he was being interviewed he came across as uh, very articulate compared to the character he plays in Mr. T um, but I guess that's all about stereotyping isn't it in Mr. Uh, in the A-Team he was just like the muscle wasn't he and constantly well no he did have his weakness isn't it with a member of the flying uh, he couldn't get on a plane, but he was always like angry, isn't it? Especially against uh, Howling Mad Murdoch. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, it was interesting. They were asking him um, about his name because obviously he's Mr. T. What's his? What's his? What's your real name? The presenter was asking him, and I think it was Dave Letterman. It was an uh, like an 80s clip, and Mr. T returned back saying, "With well, John Paul." the Pope John Paul was here, would you ask him his real name? I thought that was a very clever answer. You obviously wouldn't, would you? Because you'd see it would be considered maybe disrespectful to ask that. Same as that you wouldn't ask um, Queen Elizabeth her real name. You know? But it's okay to ask Mr. T. And then he showed a clip about Malcolm X. And this presenter was so dense or or his agenda, he just wanted to get out there because he was asking Malcolm X, you know, what is your surname? What's your family name? And Malcolm X doesn't want to answer it and eventually he explains that his family name, the name that he has, was given to his, um, I think it was his, his father's father's grandfather or his father's grandfather, I'm not sure which, by the slave master. Apparently in those days they used to, you know, they would use, uh, the slave master would give the slaves their, his surname as, as like owning them. So obviously, why would anyone want to use that name? Because that name is, is connected to being owned by someone else and having your actual name taken away from you. So much so that, that Malcolm X doesn't know what his real name, his family name, really is. And this presenter just, he couldn't get it. He would just carry on and ask him, well, do you, do, could you tell me your father's name? Uh, or could you tell me your, you know, when you've ever had to use your name? He just wanted to get that name out of him. And I don't really know why, unless it was that he was actually racist and that he would feel empowered if Malcolm X said, yeah, my name is Malcolm Johnson. I don't know what, what you know, like, because from an informative point of view, from a presenter's point of view, for us, the audience, it doesn't really ha help us to, you know, he's explained why he's not giving that name, and the, the explanation is completely valid, and any, anyone with any kind of heart, any kind of understanding, wouldn't continue that line of questioning, because he's answered the reason why he doesn't use his name is because it's not his name, it's somebody that, that owned his, um, his grand, his father's grandfather, and took his name and gave him another name. I never knew about this. I mean, it's... It's just quite shocking, really, and watching that interviewer and the way that he showed no emotion when being told such a, a travesty. I mean... That you don't even know your own name because it was taken away from you. Not only were you, uh, your, your, your parents, your grandparents were slaves, but they were slaves 
you know, they're still slaves in that sense by not having that name and by carrying another name that they will have to use because there will be some times where they would have had to use it for legal terms, you know, like filling out a form or something because you wouldn't get away with not answering it. So you'd have to use that name even though it's not your name. Your, I suspect Malcolm X's legal documents carried the name of that slave master. Imagine that, really. And it was, it was interesting what Subtle Infinity was talking about when he was talking about the issue of slavery and how you know, there are some white people that don't acknowledge it. And I noticed this as well. There was, I was in a Poncho Pete, uh, one of his podcasts, and there was, you know, uh, Felix, I think it was, was talking about white privilege. And although the argument was got out of hand either way, to deny that there isn't white privilege, it's like I um, was trying to say that, wait a minute, you know, look at all the most powerful people in the world. What colour are they, 99% of them? They're all white, isn't it? So that you can't deny that there's not white privilege, even if you look at big businesses, big companies around the world, majority of them are white. So there is some kind of privilege. And the thing is you don't notice it. And that's what Subtle Infinity was talking about, is that how, yeah, everyone is a slave. I use that word, and I know I, I said it, I think it was yesterday, and it's slightly controversial to use that word because, yes, we are all slaves because the way we, we work for a boss. <laughs> um, interesting that that's the name that's used. Um, but not in the same sense as how um, people who are non-white have had to deal with slavery. And like he was talking about how, you know, for a white person it's a choice whether they acknowledge this issue, but for, a, say, a black person it's not. And it just, when I was listening to it, it, it was so disheartening to hear, you know, obviously the realisation that, yeah, obviously people who are black, when they walk down the street, they will feel people's eyes, even in this day and age, even in Western Europe, people looking at them as if, oh, this person's going to rob me, or this person's going to do this, that, and the other, stereotyping them just because of the colour of their skin. In this day and age, with all the enlightenment, with all the, even like school kids will be doing it, despite, you know, all the effort that's going into teaching people of diversity. But I think that's because, like what Sal Infinity talked about in previous editions of his show, is that we need to stop using these labels. We're not black, we're not white. I'm not white anymore. You're not black. We are human. I don't know even if that is, is still labelling us, isn't it? So that we can stop looking with, through eyes of colour. But yeah, anyone who denies that, I mean, there is white privilege because even when you get to a job and things, people pick based on these things. That's why I wonder now, why do we always have to fill out, which I'm not going to do anymore, why do we always have to tick a box saying what ethnicity we are? You're white, you're black, you're black British, you're Afro-Caribbean, blah, blah, blah. It can only be used against you, isn't it? Unless they need to have a quota of a certain amount of people, and that in some ways is proactive racism in a different way. So let's remove that box. Why do you need to know who, you know, you should be interviewing people, you should be filling, you know, doing people's forms, not based on their ethnicity. There should be no such thing anymore. We don't need it anymore. But obviously that's easy for someone like me who's white to say that because I don't have to go through daily what people of non-white colour have to go through. That there's still people who will treat people differently. And I see this also whenever, when I go on holiday to South Africa, I see how the respect that I get given. And sometimes I, I feel guilty because I don't 
I mean, I, obviously, I, I love to be, you know, <laughs> respected and to, to that love that is given. And some of it is given out of love, you know, but some of it I feel that is it, is it because I'm white that they, they treat me better? And I feel that no, you shouldn't do that because we're the same. I'm no better than you. We're all equal. I want us to be that way. But you see that there's that mindset that is, that's there. You think that in today's age with everything that we all know and we're meant to be civilized and enlightened that we won't still have these issues but we still have them. Anyway, I'm depressed now. That's enough for me. Take care, take it easy. God bless and peace.